What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm probably gonna be touching my hair a lot because it needs to be washed, but I was just called to do this video today. Today's video is going to be on my hair journey these last two years. I have gotten so many questions about my hair. How come you don't wear your natural hair out? Why is your hair not blonde? Are you gonna go back blonde? Is this your real hair? Is this protective style? Honestly, for the last year, I've been getting tons of questions and now I am ready to talk. So, so this all started in like September 2018. I was super, 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 super blonde. Like super blonde. Looking back, I'm like, sis, that was not it. You need some dimension in there, but that's a whole nother story. So September 2018, it was that time of the month. And I was that person around my cycle where Sometimes I would just wake up and be like, I hate my hair. Let me not, let me rephrase that. I would just be inspired to change something physically around that time of the month. So this time it was definitely my hair. So September, 2018, I decided to touch up my roots because as you can see in these photos, when my hair was in a good place, my roots were not. So I decided to touch up my hair. And when I touched up my hair, my, I had hot roots, meaning my roots were super light, but like the middle was orange. So, me being me, not practicing what I was preaching, I decided to process my hair again. And because I was irritable and I was on edge already because the hormones were not balanced back then, um, I processed my hair a third time and when I processed my hair a third time it came out okay but I was like whatever um, I ended up toning it my hair was great I even filmed the process video never went up because what's about to happen next is tragic so my hair was fine deep conditioned for a few days seen for a few days just normal routine and then um, I went about my hair journey like I was making my my hair was curly it still had great volume there was nothing really visibly wrong um but I was definitely working a lot October November and December of 2018 I had so much work um that I was doing kind of behind the scenes and I was doing a lot of commercial work um so traveling styling going to different people touching my hair was just a lot going on at once so I'm in the shower and like, it's probably like November, um, I'm in the shower, minding my business, washing my hair, and I'm washing it and a glob of hair literally fell out in my hand. And I'm like, dang, like I need to detangle a little bit better. Another glove came out and I was like, what the heck is wrong with my hair? Did I try like a bad product? And then you guys know like the Diva Curl thing, all of that was coming out. So I was like, oh my God, do I have to stop using my super cream? Like I didn't know really what was going on. I wanted to take a quick little break to tell you about today's video sponsor. As you guys know, I'm all about self-care and one of my favorite ways to give myself self-care is to learn how to be more mindful, unlearn bad habits and relearn things that charge up my aura. Audible has a plus catalog with thousands of audiobooks, podcasts, guided fitness and meditation programs, as well as sleep tracks to help you get better rest, all included in your membership. If you don't love what you chose, you can always swap it out and you get one credit every single month. And if you don't happen to be ready to move on from the audiobook, podcast or guided meditation that you picked in the previous month, your credits save up for a whole year. And with the holidays coming up, Audible is offering a new membership plan for just $4.95 a month for the first six months. And after that, you just pay $7.95. But you can try Audible for free today when you go to www.audible.com slash findguru or text findguru to 500-500 within your first 30 days. Now let's go ahead and get back to this horror hair story. I'm noticing that kind of like every time that i shower hair is coming out by like the chunks chunks and chunks and chunks of hair was coming out and then by december by january of 2019 i'm like okay can bleach 
hair fallout delay months after or is this a product? I just took the L because I knew I did something I was not supposed to do and I'm gonna blame this whole thing on me just over processing my hair when I tell you guys to be patient and not over process your hair. I didn't listen to myself and here I am with like chunks of hair falling out. And at this point, my ego is on 10. I'm like, I know how to bleach my hair. I've been bleaching my hair for years. Like what the heck is, like what did you do? You're like, why did you do that? Why couldn't you just be patient? Um, so no big deal. Did I chop my hair? No. Did I trim my hair? Barely. What did I do? I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just braid it up, put some oils in it and it's gonna be fine. So around this time is when you guys started seeing me wear more wigs in my videos. And I had this blonde wig and I loved it. It was popping so like no big deal. I just hid my hair under. Um, so basically I was using wigs and oils and protective styles during this time to basically revive my hair back. But there was no reviving because my hair was literally falling. Like all of my hair fell out in kind of different patches. Um, and I, like I said, I was not committed to doing a big chop because I just knew my hair was gonna magically fix itself. So around this time, protective styles became harder to do because I couldn't use curly clip-ins because my roots were grown out so much. And then, you know, it was just harder to blend curly hair, let alone blonde curly hair for protective style. So I started experimenting and I started spraying my roots or spraying my ends with the L'Oreal Touch Up Spray, which you guys have seen me use in some of my videos. Um, they have a little pin where I used to like fade out my hair and just put my hair in a bun. Then I had a sponsored post that I had to do for NYX and the photos that I took before, I hated them. Like I hated them because my hair was just like, sis, you effed up and you not accepting it. So I'm gonna show you that this was you. So my hair was trash. So I was like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to take a picture. I'm like in this campaign and everything. So around this time is when I decided to fully spray my roots and then I just grabbed like a bundle that I had and wrapped the bundle around and this is how I got this picture. And when I took this picture, I was like, okay, this dark hair is kind of fire. So I'm gonna just ride out and just temporarily dye my hair with this temporary spray. In March, it was perfect because the protective styles with the blonde was getting hard to mask. So I literally would just try different things like the um, Clairol Beautiful Collection, temporary color, um, cellophane, um, the L'Oreal spray was great, but it only lasted for like two days. It wasn't permanent enough. So I just kept on experimenting with different things. I tried overtone and overtone seemed to be the thing that worked for me. So I was overtoning my hair, but I was getting tired of wearing my hair in struggle buns. Like I was getting tired of wearing my hair in struggle buns. And this was around like March and my hair was growing out, but at the same time it was growing out, my hair was still falling out because I could not commit to cutting my hair. Like I couldn't believe it. I was still in denial months later, but by the time March hit, my hair was literally the shortest probably it's ever been. Even before I started my hair journey, which you can see my hair journey and I'll link it down below. But my hair was so short, so I was like, you know what? I'm getting tired of these buns, I'm getting tired of these braids, getting tired of this blonde wig. Let me just go ahead and color my whole head with temporary color in black. I like the black look, it's something different, and let me just get a weave, and the curly clip-ins are gonna blend so much better with dark hair than they will light hair. So in about March 2018, I started using I started using weaves as protective styles because it was quick, easy, and it was curly, and it was I was able to just go with it. But my leave out was so short that it didn't blend well. So still was I still was struggling, but I literally would just slip oil in my braids. I even put rice water in my braids. Like I was doing the most. Rice water is definitely not significant other approved. So I would struggle with that because the, the, the um, odor would linger in my hair for a while. But nonetheless, my hair was actually growing. At this point in like March, April, I actually trimmed my hair and I kind of just accepted it and was like, you know what, you're gonna do protective styles anyways. You're putting your hair in weaves anyway, so just trim it so that when you take it down, the split ends don't go up and it basically reverses your growth. 
did that to an extent, but definitely didn't chop my hair off. I had like little tails of blonde and like patches of where it was long and short and it was just a hot mess. So in between weaves, I would rice water my hair OD. Um, during the weaves, I would put castor oil on my hair and then I would also steam my hair with my hair steamer that I talk about and that I love. So July came around in 2019. I, I was getting bored of my dark hair and my leave out wasn't blending. So I was like, you know what? If I bleach this, this curly hair to be brown, it'll be a little bit more wavy. It'll match with my hair and it'll just be easier did not match with my hair. So what did I do like a dum-dum? I bleached that part of my hair and that's how you can see here. So this piece, these pieces right here that are light are the pieces from my weave that I bleached in 2019. But you can see, cause I did my whole perimeter and then my leave out here. Like this completely grew out. So it completely, completely grew out. And I trimmed it in between that, that time. My hair didn't blend because it was short and when I bleached the 20 inch, like it was really long. So it was like, my hair was coming up to here and then the 20 was here. So it was just a hot mess. And then on top of that, some of the hair I was getting like was trash. It's great for clip-ins because I've used it for clip-ins before, but using it as a weave was absolutely terrible. I had a whole video on this hair company that y'all all know about, and the hair weave was terrible. Um, it literally was like matting up and it just was a hot mess. So to be honest, my whole hair story was under construction for literally like a year. At this point, I literally am chopping my hair, dusting my hair, um, like in between time. I didn't record it because some of it wasn't like enough to record, but I would just dust my hair frequently. My hair was finally growing. Now at this point, I was kind of tired of um, using rice water because it stunk so bad. So around this time, I was really sick of using rice water and I was doing a lot of research. I uh, dove much deeper into my herbalism and realized how much herbs can actually make your hair grow and all the nutrients that it gives your hair, or all the nutrients it gives your body then returns into like your nail growth, your skin, your hair, and all of that. So doing a lot of research, I concocted this natural alkaline herb hair oil. Now this hair oil, I believe is the reason for the lush that you guys have been mentioning and been seeing in my videos. This oil has thickened up my hair. My curls have bounced back. Like, I feel like my hair has been in a world of a difference because of this oil. So basically since the end of 2019 to current, I have been using this oil. I have changed the ingredients a few times, but I think I finally have met my match of what I wanted. The thing that was sucking with some of these trial oils is they're all natural and you know, I'm, I'm all for the natural stuff, but it smells like, like it, it does not smell good. Like, and I'm all for the smell. So I finally concocted a oil that I actually like. And this is the reason for the recent glow up with my hair. At this point of using this oil consistently, I was just wearing my wigs nonstop. And recently you guys have been seeing my curly hair and have been asking me what I've been doing to my hair because it looks so luscious. My hair has been hiding behind wigs so you guys haven't really been able to see it. So um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys about the journey because there's been so many people that have been asking. I say my only hesitation is I don't know if it's that that's growing my hair or the herbs that I am ingesting that are growing my hair. Obviously, sea moss is great for hair growth and that's something that I take pretty frequently along with other herbs. So um, I've been giving it to like family and friends just to test out to see if they're getting any benefits from it. But so the last two years have been trying for my hair. I mean, my hair and my ego. Like I said in the beginning, I was not accepting of the mistake that I knew that I made. 
and um, the video that I filmed for you guys obviously did not go live because my hair literally fell out. Um, so as of right now, um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with my hair next. I'm definitely really, 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 really missing my blonde hair and I'm itching to do it a little bit lighter. I just wanted to show y'all what I've been going through because it's been a whole lot, like a whole, <laughs> a whole lot. But I'm definitely happy that I'm here and um, I'm also grateful because it's made me learn more about herbs and how we can honestly drink and eat our hair nutrients as well as other nutrients that make our hair grow and make our hair stronger. So yeah, that's my little current hair story and my hair journey. And I'm actually getting ready to trim and dust my hair because um, I have split ends and I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't want any split ends because I want my hair to all just be pure growth from here on out. As you guys can see here, I have little to no blonde left. So it's taken about like a year and a half for this blonde to completely, completely, completely grow out. So my hair definitely has grown super, super fast. Um, now it's mainly about retaining the growth that I had because granted, I promise you if I would have big chopped my hair or just trimmed my hair in the beginning, my hair would probably be triple the length that it is now. But I'm not complaining because it was all a learning lesson and here we are now. But yes, so that is my hair journey and my hair update and what I've been using. Um, as far as shampoo and conditioning, I have been trying to use herbal shampoo and conditioners. You guys saw the L'Oreal um, neem um, conditioner that I use. I actually love it. It has like a peppermint cooling sensation. Um, this black owned company I have been loving as long along with my Shea Moisture and all of that. I have been trying to concoct my own hair um, cream, but I haven't really mastered it. I'm definitely trying to continue to make more products because I'm seeing how much of a reaction my hair, my body, my energy is by using stuff that is infused with herbs. So I hope that wasn't all over the place. I hope that catches you up on a year and a half, two year journey of me going ghost with my natural hair, my curly hair and my blonde hair, but the blonde will be back sooner than later. I just wanted it to get to a place where it was long, healthy and curly before I started um, doing more stuff to it. I just like the dark hair isn't me. And I will say though, you can see obviously my hair is lighting up. That overtone literally stays in your hair forever. Like the first time I used it, it washed out within like two weeks. And then I feel like every time you use it after that, it strengthens. So it like first time, then one week to wash out. And then almost it just took a month or two months to wash out without me even touching it up. So now my hair still has a little bit of overtone in it. So now you see the result of the overtone completely washing out. So yeah, this, this hair journey has been all over the place, but I am grateful and it was a learning lesson. And to be honest, I don't know if my hair would have been this healthy if it didn't happen. So I'm grateful for it. I've learned. I'm learning more about infusing herbs into all aspects of my life, so I cannot complain about that. But yeah, that's it for my hair journey and where I'm at now. I am considering, um, I am considering opening up a trial opportunity for some of you guys to use this because I want your honest review and I also want help with brand development. Is it working for you? Is it working for your texture? And is this able to work for you the way it has worked for me? Um, as well as helping me with packaging and all of that because I don't really know what I want to do with this yet. But yes, I don't want this to get too spun up. So yes, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload.